Okay, so we are back in the train mode. And so the first gun we have is the PP Barton, which is arguably the best skin in the game. It's a nice bright colour for one. It's meant to be, I think it's based off an octopus, honestly. And yeah, of course, the PP Barton being one of the best guns in the game at the moment is uh, definitely worth picking up. I mean, the BP Vault, they never normally worth picking up. Unless, unless you. And this is a. This is a. Trying to collect all the battle passes, and this is a specific one you missed. Um, honestly, this was one of the worst. Uh, the, not one of the worst battle passes we've ever had. Uh, so I wouldn't, unless you like, like realistic, kind of like more darker skins. Obviously, they're not my kind of skin, of course. Then, um, then you might like this one. But other than that, it's a bit of a boring one. Uh, but yeah, this, is, this skin gets a, a 7 out of 10. Um, and, uh, yeah, definitely the best skin in this in this uh, in this battle pass vault. Okay, and the next gun we have is the uh, we have the PK fifty seven. I can't remember exactly what the um, the name of it is, but it don't, unfortunately, it don't have any customized sights, and the PK sights aren't the best. Honestly, they have the annoying like ghost spring thing around it. Overall, it's a pretty boring skin, just white and black. Honestly. Maybe it's like better than some of the other ones in this. In this um, it's going to get a 6 out of 10, honestly. No, it's 5.5 out of 10, honestly. Not the best skin. But definitely some better skins that have been released. For the BK. Of course, I guess the BK did get buffed this season, so maybe may, maybe on a BK skin you could get this. There's the inspect animation. And here is the character skin. I believe this is the otter skin. Yep. Probably one of the better. Uh, captions in this battle pass, honestly. Um, it's actually quite a nice one. It's got some nice you know, changes to it. Kind of looks more of a stealthy vibe to it. Uh, it's going to get about 6 out of 10, honestly. 6.5 out of 10, I'll be generous. Then we have the QXR Close Catch. Honestly, one of the more boring ones. It has some slight dimension changes, but other than that, it's really boring, honestly. 4 out of 10, maybe even 3.5 out of 10, I'll say. Honestly, not the best one. One of the worst battle pass skins I've ever gotten. Like I said, wouldn't recommend getting the battle pass belt and play with you. There's the inspect animation. Let's like the colour dot, that colour of green, maybe. And then we have a. Uh, what's it? This, this one's the Merrick skin. It's the, this is the default Merrick skin. It's the only one I've ever got, so. Uh, I guess that's that, that's in the upside. It's about four out of ten, honestly. So yeah. Then we have the DRH. Um, this is the it's not DRH for something about water breathing or something like that. But this is the one that all the uh, all, all the bots run around with these days. Um, and you can kind of see, see why. Maybe if you put a um, like a, a diamond camo or something on it, then it might look slightly better. Because of course there's some nice geometric changes to like zero colour to it, so it's all black. Unless of course you want the stealthy kind of sneaky vibe of the old black vibe. Um, then of course uh, go for it. But other than that, um, it gets about a 4 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 3 out of 5, no 4 out of 10, we've got no 4 out of 10. Um, it's got some nice geometric changes which the QXR so didn't have. Like I said, one of the worst battle pass bots we've ever had. On both one of the battle passes we've ever had. Uh, and then we go, this is the Went to Bed animation. I believe this is a Rosa skin. Yeah. Well, I'll say this might be the first Rosa skin we got, and this is not one, because we had one in, in, in this season's battle pass as well. Honestly, quite boring. Uh, it's, actually, to be fair, it's one of the better. Uh, it's going to get a. Five out of ten. It's one of the better battle pass, but one of the better um, skip characters in, in this battle pass. It's um, of course it's got a um, uh, of course it's got some some colour on it. So yeah. And then here we have the, the final skin, which is the uh, or the final gun skin, of course being the uh, the uh, CR fifties A Max. This is actually the scene when the AMAX was released, which this, I can't remember exactly what season it was, but yeah. I don't have really boring skin, it's got some yellow on it, but obviously oh, it's actually a really boring skin. Uh, it's going to get 4 out of 10 again, honestly. No, 3, 3 out of 10. There we go. And then we have the, I can't remember, I can't remember what this kind of 
what this uh, character is called, but it's not the right one. Honestly, it's about a four out, four point five out of ten. Not quite as good as the Rosa skin, in my opinion. It's still an all right one. It's kind of mediocre, very mediocre. Is the theme for this one? You say it's a very mediocre battle pass one, honestly. Uh, wouldn't work. Would not probably not worth picking up unless you're like a, a battle pass lock collector or you just like this kind of vibe. So yeah, now let's get into. I'll show you off a. Uh, we'll, we'll do a gameplay with the the new FFAR. Uh, probably might be a ranked gameplay. Of course, like the the, the, the loader I have just come up with um, just um, by playing with it today. So yeah, I also want to be using the battle pass FFAR because I don't think it looks very good. I'll be using the uh, the FFAR. Uh, that has the new tournament camo, an FAFAR that has the new tournament camo on it. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna be uh, good. Um, the tournament camo is all right. Um, of course, it falls by purchasing the uh, the tournament camo pass thing. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> 